because what they want you to believe that you should stand with Israel when Israel is the one who actually came and squeezed themselves in, in a country, divided a people up, circled, made a circle around them, put them on their reservations, and they have disconnect with their other families across the land over on the West Bank. And they get no support. And we be silly enough to listen to the propaganda that is on put on the news that Israel is under attack. So, hey, I, I did watch the entire video. I listened to what he had to say, and his points are extremely well thought out, and they're actually factual. So I do talk about the same things. Uh, he may have a bit more knowledge of myself in this, in this uh, topic, in this area, but he did state... Uh, the history of the Lembo and, and the tribes of that time, the African tribes that lived in, in that area before the Arabs came in there and had killed them off and taken their land. And, uh, you know, so I understand why the African American people or Africans in general don't have a, uh, camaraderie feeling at all. Like they're a part of anything here because in reality, African people around the world are treated extremely bad and it's like i said it's not by accident that the group of uh entities countries that are on the side of israel happen to all have white supremacy including india there but the ethiopians tell them tell the world that they are being mistreated by these supposed israelites that are there in israel supposedly be god's chosen people that they are prejudiced against them that they have uh, uh, inoculated their people with shots, that they gave their women uh, birth control unbeknownst to them, that they were unable to have babies within, within 10 years. The president, please look that up. The president himself decided to do away with that program just here in the last few years. And these are the people talking about that are chosen and yet they're the ones going around causing a lot of destruction. And yet our people are standing up in support, not understanding these are the people who were supported by the Western worlds to take land from people, to put people in their own small little circles of reservations, to devastate their communities by putting sanctions, keeping imports from coming in. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. We need to wake up and realize, stop following everything that they propagate. And like the Black Lives Matter, when you were standing up and got caught in, that this was nothing more than an agenda ran by black people who wanted to push. Their India has the caste system, which is based almost exactly as the uh, racist uh, ideology here in America and around the world and white supremacy It's based in it. So you have to see and, and look at it for what it is. You can ignore that and throw it aside and, and say, oh, that's that's not an argument. Yes, it is. Prove to me that it's not. It's it's an, it's an underlying factor that connects every single point across the board. So, yeah, it's very, very, very pertinent. Um, what this gentleman here says is extremely pertinent as well. And I understand and see his point. I don't agree with all of it. But I see his point and why he, I understand why he's validating it, which he has. And, you know, it makes sense that according to his history uh, and the history of all Africans around the world, that this is not an isolated incident. It's something global. Um, me, on the other hand, if, you know, the spiritual philanthropist myself here, how do I look at this? I always say that if you can take religion, race, politics out of the picture and just look at it as people being harmed and especially the most vulnerable which are the women and the children especially the children because their parents go they're left alone and i'm sure there's not a lot of people that understand what it feels like to be alone when you're a child i had the honor and privilege of having that experience as a kid you know <laughs> but i can tell you it's tough you learn about life the hard way and if you don't get some form of love or, or understanding at some point along the line, you lose the idea of the preservation of your own life and anyone else's. And that's what it comes down to me, is that regardless of your, of your, um, of your actual uh, religious uh, or cultural or, or political 
or ethnicity, whatever the case is, none of those things matter when it comes down to the preservation of life itself. That is the ultimate equalizer and the ultimate uh, connection between all of us is we all share the same blood, life, air, everything on this planet. And we keep, we keep seeming to forget this all the time. Why do we forget this? Because there's a group of people that are working so hard on establishing the basis of how we think based on what's most valuable. And they set those values for you. And if you are susceptible to that ideology, you fall into that paradigm and that way of thinking. And that's hard. That's a very difficult place to stay. Look, I don't know where God gives me all my knowledge, but I know that, and they know, that I do get it ahead of time before anyone else does. And I'll prove that to you guys pretty soon. I have some posts I'll put up here as well so you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, I am a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. I've studied many different religions, as you can see behind me. I have a Jewish symbol here, a Quran here something from India, the Buddha, you know, I believe that all of these great things are all aspects of just one, just like the universe itself. God created the entire universe, which is made up of so many d infinite different parts, but it's all representative of the one. Now, if people keep trying to grab onto one part of it and, and just hold on to that, like if people wanted to just hold on to the idea of the sun, you know, alone and bypass the rest of the universe, we would be left like we were in the dark ages back, uh, you know, where people thought that we were the center of the universe, the earth, you know, and everything revolved around us. And it, and it shows that, that that same format of thinking, when people get super fundamentally re uh, religious, uh, they sort of act like these people at that time in history where everything revolves around us, you know, whatever us is, you know, you can establish that to be the, any one of the scriptures that are on the planet or any one of the other ideologies that they have, they can substitute that for the word us, right? So everything revolves around what we believe, you know, and uh, if you believe in a certain religion, everything revolves around that book that states that religion. And it's hard to live in a world that's so vast and and has so much contrast uh that you know to you would not survive long as a species if you did only have that way of thinking you would either just get wiped out because you don't have the technology and the understanding of what's around you or you'd wipe each other out you know and uh that's you know i'm not saying we're doing any better now because you know look where we're at but at the same time the people who are at the most fault here are the people who have the power the money and the position to do what they're doing, you know, and uh, it's not the people that are trying to just live and get by every day. It's those people that are fighting for the power, the land, you know, and uh, all these things, you know, uh, power, land, money, you know, this is what this is, this is what separates everybody on the planet. Um, I'll get deeper into these things in uh, some other videos that I'll do, but I'm a little, little tired now. I may do another video, who knows? But uh, look, guys, whoever subscribed before, I'm so grateful for your subscriptions. It's, it's been really hard for me to get work, you know. And uh, uh, I guess a lot of people watch my uh, YouTube videos, <laughs> you know, which sucks. And uh, they're able to assess what you know if I, my belief is different from theirs, whether I get that job. I have a feeling. That's a big part of it too. But uh, with your help and, and your subscriptions, you know, when you subscribe and you like and you hit that notification bell, that will get me paid eventually. It will help me to pay my bills and do all the things I need so I can keep doing these things and putting out something that's valuable, which is the God honest truth, man. I don't know which God, but it's just an expression. But I put out the truth. It's uh, It might be, uh, you know, a bit blunt at times. But I try to do it as eloquently as possible. But I try not to sugarcoat anything. I do talk about what needs to be spoken about. You know, uh, hopefully uh, I'll see see you guys and and uh, you know you leave some comments and, and feedback. I love reading the comments and feedback because it helps me and I can gear my work more definitively to what you guys really want. All right, guys, have a great time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you then. Bye bye. Yeah.